Hello guys and welcome to another fantastic uh, interview. Today I have with me arguably the most influential YouTuber in Ghana. Uh, if you don't know him yet, stick around and find out and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, stick and stay. Alright, welcome back. Thank you. What am I? Ha. Finally, I have you in, in, <laughs> in my seat. But I've been here before now. Yes, but I haven't interviewed you. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's good to see you. Yes, I, I said in, influential purposely uh, because how I, I even found you out. You've been in Nessus for a very long time, but I think I interviewed uh, this couple from uh, the UK, UK who had moved back, and then you interviewed them. And I think you were telling people to go and follow them. And in that space, the amount of comments that came on my page, and everybody had that inscription at Wodemaya, and I didn't know what it, it stood for. So I picked it out, and then I Googled it, because I thought it was some language. <laughs> I Googled it, and then I find you, and I go to your channel, and you're doing amazing yeah. things. So uh, first of all, I might say, I'm really, really proud of the things you're doing. Thank you so uh, much, man. The things you're highlighting, very Thank important you so things. Much, man. And you have the ability, uh, <laughs> fantastic how did it all start for you i i think um first of all i want to say that thank you so much for having me and uh you've been amazing i mean like i think the first time you tweeted about is it tweet or facebook yeah, I, I think, think I, I put it i, I think that platform. was when i had four hundred thousand mm -hmm. subscribers mm -hmm. and yeah today it's eight hundred hey, <laughs> man the numbers are increasing <laughs> one million very soon so how it all started um i started in china mm -hmm. I was schooling in China, yeah, as an aeronautical engineer. So I was just looking for something to do whenever I'm free from class, mm -hmm. you know. So that's when YouTube came in mind. Mm -hmm. But I did not start because I want to be a YouTuber, I want to be famous. I was just having fun. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I was having fun when this, um, you know, the man who, who said Chia. Yeah, Remember, said that Chia. was my yeah, first video, first okay. Video. So when I did that, I mean, nobody commented. Then I felt like, you know what, I can continue this. So how I met my first ever Chinese girlfriend, mm -hmm. I couldn't speak the language. I didn't have a good phone. My phone was just like a calculator. I met a girl, I couldn't communicate. And I told her, I was working with my friends. So I told her, yo, give your number to my friend. If I get a phone, I will collect the number and call you. So after months, I finally got my Samsung S2. <laughs> and then I reached out to this girl. Yo, I was the one who collected your number. And then... We started like, things started going on between us. And I felt like that story was unique. Mm -hmm. So I used the same story as my first YouTube video, mm -hmm. an official video. And the video has over 1 million mm -hmm. views now, almost 2 million views yeah. at this very moment. So yeah. that is when I realized that, you know what, I can do this. Okay. So I continued doing it, but yo, no one was watching. <laughs> uh, it was a great struggle, you know, like it took me like two years mm -hmm. to get a thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. And after getting a thousand subscribers, I did a video. I mean, I didn't have a camera. I used mm -hmm. my Samsung S2 to mm -hmm. do everything. So there was a guy from uh, Ethiopia, but I live in America. And he's like, yo, I love what you do. I see like you have a great potential. Mm -hmm. I want to buy you a camera. And that is when the guy bought me my first camera. And that camera was um, Canon D1200. Okay. Then I used that camera, no microphone. Okay. I started shooting my videos. And the first video that I used that camera to do, it went viral. I think that's my most watched video. That should be the bus, the one in the bus. The, no, the one in um, uh, the one uh, when I was in the supermarket. Oh, okay. And then Chinese people react whenever they mm -hmm. see black. It's my most most watched video, and yeah. that was the um, camera that the guy bought for me. Mm -hmm. And everything started from there. I moved from a thousand subscribers to eight thousand subscribers, uh -huh. man. And I realized that you know what, I need to do this. Right. Then I moved. I came to Ghana, visited Ghana. I did a few videos in Ghana. I went back to China. The video went viral. So basically, my main aim for my channel was to change, um, mm -hmm. how do you call it, uh, misconception about black people mm -hmm. and Africans mm -hmm. in general. Because living in China, Chinese people can touch your skin and mm -hmm. then look at your finger and think, oh, why is it not black? Because mm -hmm. yes, when your skin is dark, it means you're dirty, you yeah. know? They touch your hair. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just crazy. Mm -hmm. So I was sharing those experiences mm -hmm. as an African living in China yeah. in a video so people could relate to it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Everything started happening i became one of the most famous mm -hmm. vloggers in china i was actually the first, first. african to hit yeah. 100,000 um, subscribers in china so when i got 70,000 subscribers that's when i realized that you know what china is not for me mm -hmm. 
I don't think I can stay in China because I live in China. People come to China and be like, oh, I'm in China because of you. I saw mm -hmm. your video. I got inspired. I'm like, yo, I need to move to Africa, mm -hmm. man. If I can make this impact in a country that is not mine, mm -hmm. how much more than my own country? I came to Ghana and the people in Ghana felt like, yo, who are you, mm -hmm. man? Mm -hmm. We don't know you. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I was not recognized mm -hmm. in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So the project that I, I said, Africa to the world. Mm -hmm. And that is when I'm like, if Ghana don't want to accept me as one of their own, I need to think Africa. Okay. I did all my videos in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Now It's not that people are watching. watching yeah. And they'll be like, oh, I never knew. I started mm -hmm. everything in Ghana. And mm -hmm. then I'm like, you know what? Ghana is not, Ghanaians are not watching. Mm -hmm. Let me move Alex. out. Then I went to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Then different countries in mm -hmm. Africa. And that was even on a loan, you know. No. I use a, a credit card from a Chinese person wow. because when I wanted to do this, I went back to China, spoke to my few African friends that I have. People were like, we don't support uh, trips like this. We mm -hmm. only support philanthropic work. This right. is not philanthropic. So you know what? We're not going to support you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my Chinese friend, we've known each other for like five years. I'm like, dude, this is what I want to do. He's like, you know what? I trust you, but please make sure you come back and let's pay the loan. And that's when I left China finally to Ethiopia. And yeah. Ethiopia was my first country. We just loaned for five different African countries. And I think that changed my whole life, man. I guess you've paid back the loan by now. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> I, I paid the loan right from um, Rwanda. When I did a viral video mm -hmm. in Rwanda, sitting in the gutter eating, mm -hmm. that video changed my life. And I told the guy, we're paying the loan. And we paid. I flew him to Ghana. Mm -hmm. so I think last 2019 December. Oh, okay. So. January, yeah, then he left. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. And so have you thrown out uh, your aeronautics and everything? Basically, for now, it's more like a side hustle. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. it, will, it will be a side hustle for me because I have the degree, I need a license, and then the rest, because I don't think I need anything again, though. Mm -hmm. I have the knowledge. If anything happens right now, I think I've invested a lot that I will need to go back mm -hmm. to being an aeronautical engineer. Mm -hmm. I, it's good to say that I'm an aeronautical engineer, but... Practically, bro, I think there are more <laughs> to aeronautical engineering because it's all about impact. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. being in that engineering space, when you make an impact, it's not huge. Mm -hmm. But being in the social media space, yeah. see, bro, like sometimes they said I'm the most influential YouTuber in mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it, but I meet people, they cry because they see You've me. Like yeah. uh, this morning, there's a guy who was crying. I'm like, yo. We are in a gym. Stop <laughs> what you're doing. It's a like, strong man in the gym, a gym crying. Crying. Like, you, you have no idea. Yeah. I'm in Ghana because of you. Yeah. I was born here. I've been abroad for 27 years. Mm -hmm. And I, ne mm -hmm. I never knew a funny dude like you. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never knew a funny dude like you can bring me back to my own country after 27 years. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is the impact that I'm looking for. And when the impact comes in, that is when the income also follows. Sure. And when you look back, some little self-introspection, do you feel... Is your sense of humor combined with everything that you're doing that makes it work for you? Um, I, what do you think is I, I, making I'll it work? I'll say for like you? sometimes YouTube is works very well with personality because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're working with people. Mm -hmm. yeah? People want to see that bubbly person. Mm -hmm. oh, you know? But apart from that, I will also say sometimes it's the grace of God. You mm -hmm. know, you're not the only person doing this. There's so many people doing it. Mm -hmm. But why you? You see, that this is why. I always want to stay humble. Mm -hmm. I mean, let God increase, you know. Yeah. That, that, I don't take credit for anything, yeah. you know, because mm -hmm. sometimes some things happen, I'm like, yeah. I mean, I, I was wearing a slippers, man. I, it should, this should be given to somebody who mm -hmm. wears suits, you know, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've been to so many places that when I found myself there, I'm like, why am I here? You know, but the people that give, mm -hmm. they see as they are God, but <laughs> you know that, yo, I'm a boy from Takradi, man. Mm -hmm. But these people <laughs> gave me that respect. So, I mean, apart from your personality, I think God plays a huge part, man. And you recently announced that uh, you've been taken as an ambassador for Ethiopian exactly. Airlines. What does that mean to you? Because I think I spoke to you even before your travel, and you were looking at how to yeah. uh, get th those kinds of so partnerships. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so what, what does it mean coming to you now? I, I mean, I feel like it's something that will make my job easier for me mm -hmm. because traveling in Africa alone is one of the most expensive things to do, mm -hmm. yeah? So, I mean, I have done a video on Ethiopian Airlines two mm -hmm. years ago without even yeah, thinking that, oh, they have to pay me to do this. Mm -hmm. I was doing it out of the love that I have for the continent mm -hmm. until just recently. I was going to Kenya and I'm like, you know what, let me say this in my video. Mm -hmm. I didn't need to 
not knowing they watch me. Yeah. So they, they just immediately uploaded the video. The next day they called me. I'm like, yo, we, we've heard you. Give us your proposal and let the head office make it official. Mm -hmm. When I came to Ghana, even the, the Ghana general, uh, man, yeah. country manager didn't know that. The Kenyan country manager has already called me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the Ghana one too called me, like, can we have lunch? And then she started telling me everything. I was like, oh, I had a meeting with Oh, yeah. really? They gave me the assignment. Okay, <laughs> this and this and that. Welcome. So um, we'll be going for like the whole final mm -hmm. thing in Addis Ababa because this is country managers. Everything has to be done in um, Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So that's where we'll be heading to. But I feel like it's, it's a great thing. I mean, like I said, annoying village boy. <laughs> it's just, it takes the grace of God, man. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's it's a good one, you know. So talking about traveling around Africa, what mm -hmm. have been some of the stories? What has been your highlight, uh, your, your most memorable one, and also your most challenging, uh, maybe moments that, uh, like you said, traveling across Africa is expensive, uh, sometimes unnecessarily tedious. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the experiences, can you give us uh, some of them? I mean, it's beautiful to travel within mm. Africa, especially when you're traveling and we all call ourselves Africans and you realize that we don't even know this part of Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, some of us are even scared of going to Nigeria because mm -hmm. of the things that okay. we had. But when you get there, you realize that the story is different. So, I mean, travel is more like education for me. Mm -hmm. I educate myself every day. That's why sometimes when I come to Ghana and people are making unnecessary comments about Ghana, I'm like, you have never been out there. I mean, I'm not talking about Europe because in, in, in Ghana, anytime people are talking, it's just Europe, America. Yeah. Go to the, your next door yeah. country and mm -hmm. just go and find out the privileges that they are enjoying that we don't have mm -hmm. or what we have here, but they don't yeah. have. So it's all about learning new things every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's beautiful to travel in Africa, but apart from that, it's not as easy mm -hmm. as you see. Mm -hmm. Being an African traveling in Africa is as difficult as anything. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how, sometimes I tell people like, when you watch my videos, you, I'm making you see what you have to mm -hmm. see. But there's a lot that goes on behind the scene. I mean, being arrested mm -hmm. because I was having a camera. I mean, being deported because I was having a camera. Like, I, I was in, in South Africa, literally they were chasing my car, thinking that I, I possess some drugs in mm -hmm. my pocket. They came two police cars, one van in front of us, one behind mm -hmm. us. Come out, all of you come out. We step out, where's your phone? They, they check my phone and yeah. everything. And I'm like, what okay. have I done? He's like, oh, we got a tip from the hotel that you're from West Africa. So we taught you. Mm -hmm. You see, like, these are the things. I mean, yeah. Mozambique, I was denied entry. Mm -hmm. the, the man said he has a problem with West Africans. But if you have problems with West Africans, what has it got to do with me? Exactly. He said, I'm never going to allow you to enter. Yes, he did not allow me to enter. Then another immigration officer told me, um, drive two hours, there's another border, yeah, just yeah. go there. I went there, within five minutes, I got a stamp and entered the mm -hmm. country. So it, these are the things that makes it so difficult to travel within Africa. Uh, as, as an African, even mm -hmm. Nigeria, I was arrested, you know, um, by this SAS people, uh, because I had my laptop mm -hmm. on my lap mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. said, oh, you are a 419 guy. Mm -hmm. You see, it doesn't make sense, but um, yeah, I mean, this is what I've decided to do. And these challenges actually, uh, makes me know that the road to success will not be easy. So, I mean, right now, a lot of people see you. I think it's better than before. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm kind of global. So, mm -hmm. before I enter a country, there are people yeah. there. I mean, in Somalia, mm -hmm. I got bodyguards. Yeah. In in Nigeria, I had mm -hmm. escorts. So, it's, it's, it's just crazy, you know. Things are getting better right now. Is it easier when you travel to a country and you're invited and so somebody is sort of um, coordinating? than when you just get up and want it, to do it's something. It's easier when somebody is coordinating, but if it's a brand, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. You know, because they, they tell you what to do, what not to do, mm -hmm. what to say, what not to say. Mm -hmm. But I want to be that bed, mm -hmm. fly here, say whatever you want to say. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I was in South Sudan. My trip was sponsored by MTN. I mean, everything was coordinated. Like, mm -hmm. it, it was beautiful. Like, they took my stress of looking for people to mm -hmm. work with away. MTN did everything. Mm -hmm. My they gave me a five star hotel, and I'm like, I don't sleep in five star hotel. Mm -hmm. So where do you want to sleep? Is that I can? Can you? Do you have hostel? <laughs> they gave well, me. A, why do you prefer? I, I want to live. I want to live like an African. You know, I want to live like um, an ordinary African. But, but then you're also promoting the beautiful Africa. Uh, exactly. To come and see. Just to let you it's know, a, it's a combination no, of no, no, that no. and everything. Exactly. Else. I just want you to know that 
Africa is not what you think. Mm -hmm. But personally, I just want to like be with each and every African on the ground. Look, uh, so the, I'm that guy who can be with farmers. Mm -hmm. I'm the same guy who can be with millionaires. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't want to be in a situation. I would never spend money or make MTN. Listen, mm -hmm. the MTN. Hey, you cannot the, say something. No, nah, I cannot say. <laughs> MTN gave me an amount of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Like use this money to feed yourself. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is a, a lot of money. What, mm -hmm. what am I going to use this money for? You know, so. Even the hotel bills, I said I don't want. They gave me a, ho a hostel. I took the money they gave me. I went to um, the Mundari tribe. Mm -hmm. I went to buy a cow. Yeah, the same money. I, 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 saw that. I bought cow. I went to buy food stuffs with the money and then went to feed an orphanage. The just to tell them that I, <laughs> I don't need this yeah. amount of mm -hmm. money. You, you get what I mean? So for me, it's all about being with everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love staying on a low key. Mm -hmm. I, Okay, I can stay in an expensive hotel, but that is when I'm doing a video. Mm -hmm. But I would never like spend like two hundred, three hundred dollars to stay in a particular place for mm -hmm. a night. No, I rather give that because that's my dad. Yeah, I, I'm I'm just living my dad mm -hmm. the way my dad lived his life. So mm -hmm. some things I, I'm just showing you that mm -hmm. Africa is beautiful. We have this, but I don't live it myself, man. And as uh, somebody who tells stories of Africa, and you sometimes tell the awesome stories of. Yeah. People doing amazing things from yeah. uh, uh, infrastructure to all of that. And then sometimes you're just connecting with the uh, personal stories of people. Mm. Which ones do you see people resonating with a lot more? I think uh, when it comes to the personal stories, mm -hmm. I feel like that's even changed my life, you mm -hmm. know. Um, when, before COVID, I was not doing such kind of videos. Mm -hmm. After during COVID, that's when... I couldn't travel. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that, you know what, let me bring more personal stories. Mm -hmm. And when I did that, I think that's when you got to know me. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that is when everything just escalated. Mm -hmm. You understand? And with the personal stories, it carries more weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It carries more weight than anything. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that that personal story can sell your product. Mm -hmm. I'm, not a, I'm not a business guy. Some, mm -hmm. Sometimes people want you to ask questions like, Mm -hmm. Deep, deep questions. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not interested. Yeah. I'm yeah. just interested in the questions that everybody the can relate person. to mm -hmm. and let that story sell your house for mm -hmm. you. So mm -hmm. I use people's story to sell their houses. Mm -hmm. I don't just go to a real estate, oh, this house costs $200,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's just recently mm -hmm. people are just bringing those stories and, yeah. you know, there's money and you need to take care of yourself. So they give you the money and then you use your do, platform to advertise it. But personally, I'm more interested in like, personal stories, mm -hmm. the charcoal guy story. Mm -hmm. So today, anytime I watch it, I get inspired. I mean, people owning poultry farming. We have to educate Africans because, you know, in Africa, Ghana in particular, when you're a farmer, people think you're poor. Mm -hmm. When you're a poultry farmer, people think you're poor. Yeah, but that, these are the people making the real money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, I, was, I didn't know until I did videos about it. And believe me, I've also been inspired and right. that's what I'm doing. I'm, that's it. We have our own farms, poultry mm -hmm. farm that we're working on right now. Mm -hmm. So I believe that such stories need to be told. Yeah. Man. And I mean, uh, as somebody obviously making a lot of money on YouTube yeah. and investing in different sectors, yeah. uh, when it comes to content creation, yeah. do you have plans of expanding and in what form is it going to be like? So expanding in terms of like maybe studios. Yeah, but that one is the, it's 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 part of our future projects like mm -hmm. um, establishing a TV network mm -hmm. where we're gonna have like Africans from different part of Africa telling their own story mm -hmm. and that will be showcasing on a TV network. But I believe that YouTube is global mm -hmm. and now that even I, I'm more like a TV station mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. You know, the only thing I don't You're do is than like, most TV stations. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just don't sit down and then do videos like the way you're doing. Mm -hmm. I move around and then. Mm -hmm. But um, the impact is huge. And mm -hmm. in future, we'd love to get more people to do that. But they all come under one TV network. That's mm -hmm. what we're working on. I don't have to travel again. You, you, you mentioned earlier that uh, you were not accepted in Ghana. Yeah. Are you getting a lot of acceptance now? Yeah, I, I think so. But I, I feel like it's because of the name that I have now. Yeah. That's why... People. people are, I don't know if you understand what I mean, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. we should always see people as one of the, our, our mm -hmm, own. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't wait for the person to be successful before we start celebrating, celebrating. the person. You know, mm -hmm. it's so sad. If I tell you the things that I went through in Ghana, mm -hmm. 
Sometimes I don't even want to. I don't even want to do anything for Ghana, man. I, I can, I, they I can, called me. I the tourism board understand. called me. Mm -hmm. I, I told them I won't be in the country. Yeah. I'll be in the country, but I'm not interested. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Because they, I've been here since. Mm -hmm. I have reached out to them, mm -hmm. but now they know that oh, mm -hmm. what a Maya. Yeah. yeah let yeah. me reach out to you. <laughs> but no. I mean, even you, 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 you agree that you've gone through a journey. Yeah. And a lot of that is also based on the time and awareness of what exists. So I, I, I also feel that the likes of these government agencies, they're now pretty much opening up to our world, yeah. where you also exist. Yeah. And so it's taking them that long, but now they are getting but, into but, but, it. But even to today, they still don't know <laughs> your value. I know, I know. You know, because you don't, you don't work on TV station, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. don't work on a radio station, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. See, know, you can't I compare I know. Uh, the I, impact that I have with any... I don't know. Mainstream, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know who. Yeah. Uh, it's true. I don't, it's I don't true. Know and who. like I said, it's it's so, it's a gradual process. Exactly. I have been here for about <laughs> fifteen years. Yeah. And I have seen it from nothing to something uh, exactly. and almost getting that. So yeah. it's a painful we, we are going through this uh, growing pains yeah. and I always wanted to quicken up and get to where it ought to be. But yeah. but I think we need to speak to the people that mm -hmm. like social media is here to stay mm -hmm. and see the people on social media. I mean, value them mm -hmm. even more than the mainstream media. Mainstream. Because don't forget, that if you are doing an advert on a mainstream media, it's just some few days, yeah, it's, it's out. Goes, yeah. But YouTube video is going to be there forever. Exactly. exactly. And I've always seen that you, you are changing the strategy for yourself a little bit yeah. before you are YouTube. But now I see you are evolving and being on Twitter. Being Exa exactly. The, the so I, um, I realized that you can't be on YouTube alone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, everything comes on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Every business that comes, it's, yeah. on, uh, it's concentrated on YouTube. But uh, when it comes to Twitter, I just got to know Twitter. Mm -hmm. Even I had to cross-check about things that people write about mm -hmm. me. So, like, those days that I started videos, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. I mean, people didn't know my handle. They were mm -hmm. just writing, what am I, what am I, what am I? So I felt like, you know what, I think I need to tap into this. Mm -hmm. So that's why I decided to be, like, all around. So I, I just love Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. And then even Facebook is so hard for me right now. Bit. But yeah. um, YouTube is everything. It's, it's your, yeah, it's, it's YouTube your... is really everything for me. Good. Yeah. So if you are to give um, maybe five tips to an existing YouTuber who is struggling like myself. <laughs> and, <laughs> you're, uh, you're not struggling, an man. An upcoming YouTuber. Yeah, no, okay, so, an up, oh, he, okay he's an upcoming YouTuber, but he's <laughs> a big deal, man. So let me let me just, for YouTube, yeah, mm -hmm. I would say that it boils down to authenticity mm -hmm. and also your personality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, let people connect to you. And I also tell you that, like, something you need to do content that people are searching for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You understand? That, that sometimes there's a competition in that space, mm -hmm. but try and be more innovative and mm -hmm, creative. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're being creative, believe me, it will pick up. Mm -hmm. Even though it's slow. But don't forget that when you're done, mm -hmm. this will be your own signature. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, when you talk about Africa to the world, the guy who is changing the narratives mm -hmm. of Africa. You know, right now we have a lot of people doing it. Mm -hmm. But if you go to the roots, to what am I? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's what I, I keep on telling young content creators that stay true to yourself, mm -hmm. be authentic, try new things until you find your niche. Mm -hmm. And when you find your niche, focus on it and evolve the niche. Because mm -hmm. when I started, I'll just go to a country, yo, what's up, everybody? <laughs> and no, I don't do, like, mm -hmm. I, I can't shout anymore. Mm -hmm. No, I, I interview people, but it's the same. Mm -hmm. Like, just evolve mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. But with that one, it makes a lot of money than mm -hmm. what I was doing before. Yeah. So you just have to learn how to evolve when you find mm -hmm. your niche, mm -hmm. man. And trust me, patience has always been the key. It's all about equipment. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have three cameras here. <laughs> no, but uh, you've made it. You know, with three cameras, <laughs> you're not an upcoming YouTuber. <laughs> because some of us started with Samsung S2, man. Well, so, like, I, like I said, I, I, was, I was on YouTube, uh, I've been on YouTube for over 16 years. And I started with phones. And exactly. So at, at every event, I'm there. I'm probably struggling to go to the front <laughs> to get good. Because I also joined a project in Netherlands where they give Nokia phones to oh. people to create content with those phones. So the phone has always been, 
uh, my introduction, yeah. and then eventually, when I got some small money, ah. I started buying <laughs> equipment. So it, it, it is yeah. a story of exactly. most most people. Uh, exactly. I always exactly. believe that you should start small and 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 and, and great because you, you don't are not so sure of what the outcome might be. And yeah. if you invest so much, spend so much, and it's not coming in, you may get frustrated and you would want to give up. And it's it's easier when if, if you want to give up, which means uh, you don't have passion for what mm -hmm. you're doing. Yeah, but passion alone sometimes doesn't no. work. I mean, if you have passion mm -hmm. for something, yeah. I don't, see, if I don't have passion for what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I would have given up a long time. Now. Sure. Because yeah. even what I go through in Africa, mm -hmm. is, bro, like you're trying to promote a country and they are arresting you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're trying to promote a country and they are doing this to you. It's See, I, see, okay. <laughs> I don't want to say so many things here, man. Yeah? Because it's, it's, it's to see, open I mean, like, I know. Hopefully. So just even with the phone, because mm -hmm. my girlfriend is a phone vlogger. So how did you meet her? I met her on my first trip to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So she was a YouTuber. I reached out to her, like, do you want to link up? Because I was going to Kenya that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I was there. She never showed up. And then I was going to Ethiopia, and I told her, do you want to come? She said no. So I was there, and she tested me that. Yeah, I want to come. And I'm like, okay. He's like, oh, why are you not so excited that I'm mm -hmm. coming? I'm like, but he told me you're not coming. Mm -hmm. So I told her I won't pick you up. Just come. I'll sh I showed her the address. Mm -hmm. Then um, there's a guy who said, you're not so romantic, you know. <laughs> why not just buy her a flower? And I, this girl thought she's going to come to the house directly. Mm -hmm. So I just decided, you know what, let me surprise her with a flower. And mm -hmm. apparently that was her first flower. Wow. Yeah, and then everything And Kenyans have a lot of flowers too. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, she was coming from a street home, oh, cool. um, street dad, you know, so basically she never got that chance to, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. she, she's more of, um, I mean, I've been, I'm even the first guy, like, you know, that kind of, I mean, oh, dating cool. her and all of that. Oh, she was cool. not into that space and all of that. So, yeah. I mean, when you find a good girl to you keep it because it's so hard mm -hmm. now because some of the women that we meet <laughs> you have you might be the 10th one you know yeah. uh, but, but you are you, you are aware <laughs> of the online culture and your, uh, your girlfriend is also in that space and yeah there are a lot of eyeballs on on her yeah don't you feel threatened no i mean because i know the kind of girl i'm dating you know mm -hmm. like um she's the kind of girl i can live there even for a year mm -hmm. and go wherever i want to go i won't be scared a bit and you know I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't want a situation, you see, when girls feel lonely, yeah, things start going through their yeah, mind. Right. But she's not that kind of girl, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I know the girl I met, and I'm like, you know what, let me, and the next thing is like the fear of God, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, really you know, I have friends that have um, numerous of girlfriends, and sometimes mm -hmm. we talk about it. Mention their names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even talking about people of my age, man. People that are okay, even okay. married and all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah they are, but if she hears that, if anytime she she yes, hears that, jeez, man, that would be a week. We're not gonna mm -hmm. talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, why like, are you friends? Why, with such why are you people? friends with such? You know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I know what I want, and that's mm -hmm. why I feel like, I mean, with that kind of girl, I need to maintain. I know you often go to you travel, but how often does she come to Ghana? Oh, she comes. Like she comes. She's been to Ghana more than I've been to Kenya. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's just that when she comes, we just be. I, I'm more of um. Indoors. An introvert, you know. Mm -hmm. YouTube made me an extrovert, mm -hmm. but um, anytime I'm just in my room, man. Even yeah. events in Ghana, it's so hard for me to. See. It's <laughs> good, hard to see me there, to man. I there. just good, good, introvert, good. man. Good. What next? Uh, what, what next? What should you look out for? Um, you should look out for our trip to Congo. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be heading to Central Africa. We've never mm -hmm. been there, so we're going to Congo. And uh, yeah, road to a million, man. Mm -hmm. I just can't wait. Uh, we we back now. We're gonna be creating content back to mm -hmm. back so we reach a million mm -hmm. and the million we're doing something crazy and i'm not going to tell you guys right <laughs> now but um i think i should bless amaya's channel with that well, we're going to do something crazy yeah mm -hmm. and we're going to release that video the day we hit a million mm -hmm. you know i'm going to be the first um african traveler to hit a million mm -hmm. right so i need to be the peak of africa mm -hmm. <laughs> Somewhere high. Yeah, exactly. Good, 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 Guess good. where that will be, and I think that will be the next video. The next, the next video. Yeah, the and I'm video. going to uh, Central, uh, pretty French yeah. speaking, yeah. Uh, and you traveling and language barrier and all that. Exactly. Uh, are you picking up on French? Even Swahili. Your girlfriend is is from <laughs> is from Kenya. I, I yeah. Really I, I mean, it, it's so hard. I'm a language person, but mm -hmm. right now I feel like I don't have time. I mean, you speak Chinese. This is yeah. Chinese. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Like. 
when I was learning Chinese, I, I learned Chinese in three months, mm -hmm. right? But that was consistency, mm -hmm. dating a Chinese girl mm -hmm. consistently. Within a year, I was fluent. Mm -hmm. But now, I went to Alain Francais to register. Mm -hmm. They told me that it's a three-month course, mm -hmm. and you have to be coming in the evening. Yeah, yeah. Me, day, I need to make money. Yeah. Even I need to make money. <laughs> I can't even around. Yeah, so my brother is saying that I should go to Ivory Coast. Ivory so Coast. I'm thinking of Congo. Okay. We're going to create content, but I, I've registered a class there. Yeah, well, yeah, so yeah. Well, I'll be cool. doing classes. So I'll be doing French countries, five mm -hmm. countries, and then be okay. able to yeah. learn from here to here. Because so. uh, in some spaces, yeah. I mean, if you go to Ivory Coast, at least... Uh, like uh, some English is there. But I, I went to Gabon for the African Cup of Nations, and even with my calf sticker and everything, uh, I had hell right at the airport on, until somebody from uh, calf came to get me. So in some places, the language can be you can't even communicate. Don't, like don't Dakar. Take. And everything like, there's Google Translate, so sometimes you but can. But it's not, it's not, it's, it's, not, accurate. As, it's not that it's as not accurate. accurate, but at least. It's not uh, accurate. And I, I know a little bit French, so I'm oh, really? sort of covered oh. from school, the ones I learned. So <laughs> but that one the is. Basic ones. They swim a lot. They swim ahead. They swim a lot. Bonjour, go on some. Yeah, that one, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. Because that's my next thing, man, to learn French. French, yeah. To learn French. Because, you know, the francophone market is huge. That's what I always tell people, like, you always need to think broad mm -hmm, mm -hmm, as a content mm -hmm. creator, yeah. yeah? So Amaya Debra, we, we know you mm -hmm. in Ghana to be big. Mm -hmm. Now Amaya Debra should be thinking about other like African countries. countries yeah. Just, I mean, do what you've been doing in Ghana, mm -hmm. the same in those yeah, countries. In those and then, yeah. that's it. That's I, it. I, literally, I create the same content everywhere. everywhere. It's yeah. just the country yeah. is different. It's different. Great. Yeah. It's been amazing uh, speaking with nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, and I'm very, very proud of everything you're achieving. Thank you. And Road to One Million. Road to One Million. We can't wait to celebrate. Yeah, we'll <laughs> definitely celebrate that. Man. Great. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure. Man. I appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure. All right, guys. So it's a wrap. Uh, catch you same time next time. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye. <laughs>